Hello and welcome back. So this is just the setup of the next project. The next project is a program. We I do make references to a postcard. You're, uh, it would be great to see you guys make one. Uh, you can use the template for the sp for the summer postcard that you just finished, and create uh, an image for the front of the card from uh, the program. So what inspires you about the program, the art or the design to then create uh, a related postcard to promote the, the event. So that's extra credit. If I'm talking about it in this project, uh, just realize now it's extra credit and no longer uh, something that you would be missing. So postcard in this couple of videos is an extra credit thing. All right, um, I'm gonna show you uh, how another student actually solved this problem. You'll see my solution, and I will go step by step on how to build this. Everything is on the site. Please look over and read the site uh, so that you have a better understanding of what I'm asking you to do. Um, on the site, it will have all the YouTube videos and it'll also have all of the copy and images you'll need. So remember, you just need to go to the site and get that. That said, let me show you exactly what the images are. You'll have a postcard image, which is um, one of the designers. You'll have another image of one of the artists and a final image of the other artists. So there's two artists and one designer. You'll have copy, and I'm going to show you now what the final work uh, would look like. So this is what I expect you to have exactly. It'll be step to step, exactly how I want you to do it. The first thing I'll probably show, first thing I will show you, not probably, is how to set up the file exactly, how to make a grid, how to flow in the text. After you flow in the text, We'll start talking about uh, tabbing, possibly, uh, type. And the last thing that we're going to kind of make sure is all set up and organized is uh, using a style sheet. Once you get to the style sheet, please take notes and be very conscious of how a style sheet works. Style sheet you'll need for the final project. It's something that if you're going to be in design or get design jobs, you need to know. So people that would might hire you will always look to make sure that you know how to use a style sheet. Pages is important, grids are important, and understanding how to use tiles, style sheets. So make sure that that is accomplished. All right, so this is the front of it. You'll use all three images, some format, and you'll use uh, the, art, the Visiting Artist Program Fall 2018. Again, I'll explain this. This is the, the designer's uh, interpretation of this last semester. I want to see what you guys can do. How do you solve this problem? I wish this was a little bit more bright and more inviting. So think about how you can use color and get someone excited about going to this program. I think it was an interesting solution, but maybe this should have been a white box to make the copy pipe pop. Just remember, you want to excite someone to go to this event. What do you think is exciting? All right, so these are the two asks. Um, this is a final project. It should look exactly what I'm showing you how to do. All right, so we kind of covered uh, that, uh, the, what it should look like. So this is the finished. In this folder, I'm going to need an InDesign file. And I also want an IDML. IDML is a file that allows you to go to lower versions of InDesign. So if you were in the library and realized that your document from your home isn't opening up in, the, in uh, the library, you can create an IDML and open it up in the library. It just needs to be this version so that it can be so that it allows it to open up in lower versions. This will always be the version that you are using at home. You can always go up, but you can't go back. So it's good practice to learn how to do packaging. 
I made a little blurb on the site about packaging and I have a video about it. But please take notes for this. It's very important that you learn how to package. I think that's it. I think we can move forward on the next step where you're gonna start making sure you download all of the content that we need, which is the copy and the images. And please create a folder um, so that once, so you'll just have a folder with links or images. Uh, so once we do package, everything is contained in one folder. All right, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, take notes and take it slow. Take breaks if you need it.